Uh, my name's Bryce and I'm the graduate forester with Cumbria Woodlands. Uh, this project is the restoration of pores around the Thirlmere Valley and it's with Cumbria Woodlands and in partnership with United Utilities and the Lake District Foundation. So pores is plantation on ancient woodland sites and it's ancient woodlands that have vegetation indicators from the past and cultural indicators that you can tell that they were previously wooded with natural species and they've been planted on recently. So the ancient woodland sites are irreplaceable. You can't create more of them. Uh, the next best thing is restoring ancient sites that have had trees planted on them. The, the soil and the microorganisms and the vegetation will still be there, but we need to gradually change the pause site back to its natural habitat. And that involves things like changing the tree canopy species, sort of helping natural regeneration and just letting the what would originally be there return. So it's a sort of generational uh, process. Um, I'm hoping to sort of start the ball rolling, but the, the changing of species, of trees, it, it'll be a long time before we see real change. But initially, it's, it's a lot of surveying, planning, trying to find out what goes where, what we can remove from certain places and just how to help the woodland best. So restoring pores to its natural habitat um, will improve the general ecology and it'll sort of bring back those species that are specialised to the habitat. Um, increase the resilience to climate change and everything that comes about as of that. And it'll, because we're in a reservoir, it'll improve the water quality. Uh, so there's quite a large range of things to consider. So controlling natural regeneration, planting sites, um, cutting down trees and opening up um, the canopy for light to get in. Uh, there's quite a lot of things to consider. At the minute we're identifying what is the most critical to restore. So at the minute we're in the Howe and it's at the north end of the site and this is sort of the typical ancient woodland uh, environment and habitat and this is what we're aiming for for the rest of Thirlmere, this sort of uh, woodland with the species and the, the, eco the ecology, the bryophytes, the lichens, things like that. The whole of Thirlmere isn't pores. The designation of pores has to be proven specifically. So we are going to work on the pores sites to restore them. And hopefully in future there are other sites maybe we could, we could classify and restore to ancient woodland. Hopefully I can start the, start the process and someone, someone could take over in future and it'll, we'll, we'll have a, a restored area that people can benefit from in future.